are the fabulous 50s, a time when milkshakes were sipped, poodle skirts twirled, and a revolutionary sound was about to shake up the world. Welcome, my friends, to the birthplace of rock and roll. In a post-war world, where optimism was as bright as the neon lights, a new beat was pulsing in the heart of America. Borrowed from the soulful tunes of black blues artists, this new sound was a jazzy jamboree that got everybody doing the hand jive. Our musical story begins in smoky clubs and cotton fields, where the blues laid down the tracks for the rock and roll train. And then enter our heroes, the rock pioneers. They took those bluesy beats and, like magicians, turned them into something electrifying. From Chuck Berry's guitar riffs that could make you leap out of your loafers, to Elvis the Pelvis Presley, who shook up more than just his hips, these cats were cool and they knew it. Rock and roll was more than music, it was a movement, a rebellion against the starched shirts of yesteryear. As vinyl records spun, so did societal norms. Teenagers found their anthem, parents found their headache, and the world found its soundtrack. Rock and roll was here, and it was here to stay, or so we thought. Stick around, rock enthusiasts. Our journey through the decades has just begun. What twists and turns await us? Only time and tunes will tell. Next stop, the swinging 60s. Fasten your seatbelts, it's about to get even more groovy. Zoom into the 1960s. A decade splashed with color, controversy, and chords that defined a generation. Gone were the sock hops and soda fountains, replaced by Vietnam and movements for change. And what was that sound echoing through the streets? The roaring anthem of rock and roll, louder and prouder than ever. In the 60s, rock wasn't just music, it was a megaphone for the masses. Bands like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones didn't just play songs, they played the soundtrack of a revolution. With every strum of their guitars, they told stories of love, peace and a world spinning at a dizzying pace. This was the era of amplified rebellion. As guitars got louder, so did the voices calling for change. From the British invasion to the psychedelic San Francisco scene, rock and roll was a mirror reflecting society's hopes, dreams, and sometimes its deepest fears. Imagine the electric air of a 60s concert, the pulsing lights, the sea of tie-dye, the collective heartbeat of thousands grooving in unison. This wasn't just a concert. It was a communal experience, a moment where you could look around and think, yes, these are my people. But as the decade danced on, the tunes took a turn. Psychedelic rock twirled onto the scene with bands like Pink Floyd and The Doors painting musical masterpieces that were as surreal as they were sensational. The sound of rock was evolving and so was its spirit. As the 60s waved goodbye, it left behind a legacy of love, rebellion and rock and roll that rewrote the rule book. But hold on to your hats, dear viewers, for the 70s await with even more surprises, glitter, glam and guitar solos galore. Welcome to the dazzling 70s, where rock and roll put on its platform shoes and danced into an era of excess and extravagance. This was the decade where theatrics took the front seat and the music, well, it got a whole lot louder and a whole lot bolder. Meet the titans of 70s rock Black Sabbath's haunting harmonies, Kiss's face-painted frenzy, and Queen's operatic opulence. These weren't just bands, they were rock deities adorning the stage with a spectacle that blurred the line between concert and cosmic event. As disco balls spun and political landscapes shifted, rock found its rhythm in the tumultuous tides of the 70s. The world was changing, and rock was its echoing voice, sometimes a scream, sometimes a serenade. And let's not forget the anthems, those epic radio-friendly tunes that you just couldn't get out of your head. From Led Zeppelin's mystic melodies to the Eagles' smooth harmonies, these songs weren't just hits. They were hymns for a generation seeking identity in a world of uncertainty. In the 70s, rock and roll was more than music. It was a mirror to society's soul, reflecting the highs, the lows, and everything in between. It was a time of self-expression of pushing boundaries, and, oh yes, of unforgettable hairdos. But as the 70s curtain closed, a new era was waiting in the wings. Get ready to swap your bell-bottoms for spandex, because the 80s are about to turn the volume up to 11. Hair metal, MTV, and a whole new rock and roll rhapsody are on the horizon. Strap on your leg warmers and tease up that hair. We're diving headfirst into the electric, eclectic 1980s. 
A time when rock and roll not only walked the walk, but talked the talk with a little extra hairspray and glam. Welcome to the era of hair metal, where the riffs were as heavy as the eyeliner. Behold the kings and queens of the 80s rock scene, Motley Crue, Poison, Bon Jovi and more, strutting their stuff on the glittering stage of fame. Their music? A head-banging blend of hard-hitting melodies and heart-thumping ballads. Their fashion? A riot of leather, lace and a rainbow of hair colours. And then there was MTV, turning musicians into visual icons overnight. Music videos weren't just promotional tools, they were cultural phenomena, turning every living room into a front row concert seat. In an era shadowed by the Cold War and dazzled by economic booms, hair metal was the soundtrack to both escapism and aspiration. It was loud, proud and unapologetically over the top, just like the decade itself. 80s rock wasn't just heard, it was seen, felt and lived. It influenced fashion, lifestyle and even language. Phrases like totally tubular and radical were as common as teased bangs and studded bracelets. But as the neon lights dimmed and the last power chord faded, the 80s left behind a legacy as vibrant as its music. Yet change was in the air. The raw, unvarnished sound of the 90s was waiting in the wings, ready to strip down the extravagance to its bare, grungy essentials. Goodbye, neon lights, hello, flannel and angst. Welcome to the 1990s, where rock took a turn down a grungier, grittier path. This was the decade of introspection, where the glitz and glam of the 80s gave way to the raw, unpolished sound of grunge. Bands like Nirvana, Pearl Jam and Soundgarden swapped synthesizers for distorted guitars and hairspray for unwashed hair. Their music, a powerful mix of punk's rebellion and metal's depth, all wrapped up in a flannel-clad package. The 90s were a time of rapid change. The dawn of the internet, the end of the Cold War, and a society looking inward, questioning the excesses of the past. Grunge didn't just fill the airwaves. It stormed the fashion world, too. Suddenly, it was cool to be uncool, and thrift store chic became the rage. This wasn't just a style, it was a statement, a rebellion against the manufactured image of the previous decade. But the 90s had its share of heartache, too. The tragic loss of influential figures like Kurt Cobain left a void, signalling the end of grunge as we knew it. Yet, their legacy lived on, etched into the very soul of rock. As the millennium approached, rock faced a new era, ready to evolve once again. From the ashes of grunge, a new sound was about to emerge, polished by digital innovation and fueled by a new century's dreams. So what's next on our rock and roll journey? Stick around, the 2000s are just around the corner. Welcome to the dawn of a new millennium, the 2000s, where rock and roll plugged into the digital world and came out with a shiny, polished sound. This was an era of sleek production, sharp fashion, and a sonic clarity that the raw 90s could never have imagined. Enter the stage. Bands like The Strokes, Muse and Coldplay, they weren't just musicians, they were digital alchemists blending traditional rock with the endless possibilities of digital recording. The result? A sound that was as crisp and clean as the screens we began to spend our lives staring into. As the internet wove its web around the world, rock adapted. Social media became the new MTV, YouTube the new concert hall. This was the era of instant access to music, to artists and to a global community of fans. And let's talk fashion. Gone were the grunge days of flannel and unkempt hair. The 2000s rock star was a model of modern chic tailored jackets, designer jeans and hairstyles that said, I care but not too much. It was a look as polished as their music. In the 2000s, rock mirrored our world, a society in fast forward, enamored with technology and progress. The music was a reflection of this new connected era where every beat Every note could be tweaked to perfection. But as the decade turned, so did the tides of music. The digital era had polished rock and roll, but in its sheen, some whispered that it lost its soul. What's next for rock as we know it? Is it a tale of reinvention or a final farewell? And now we arrive at the present, a kaleidoscope of sounds, styles and digital streams Rock and roll, once the defiant voice of youth, now whispers in a chorus of countless genres. In this age of playlists and podcasts, where does rock find its beat? The charts are ruled by pop kings and queens, hip-hop moguls and electronic wizards. 
Rock, with its gritty guitars and raw emotion, seems like a guest in the house it once built. Has the era of rock stars and rebel anthems faded into history? In a world where music is made with clicks and taps and fame is measured in likes and streams, rock's raw, unfiltered essence faces its toughest crowd yet, the digital generation. The question isn't just about the music, it's about the soul behind it. But let's not write the obituary for rock and roll just yet. Like a phoenix, it has always found a way to rise. From the ashes of the old, something new emerges. Is rock and roll dead, or is it merely waiting in the wings for its next grand act? Could the next rock revolution be simmering just beneath the surface, ready to explode into the mainstream once more? That, dear viewers, is a story still being written. What do you think? Share your thoughts, your favorite rock memories, and your predictions for the future of rock.